Greetings everybody and welcome to the third MuseCore Google Summer of Code 2020 albums progress video and I have a lot of things to show you this week so let's get started and close the start center and the first new thing is that now you can access the albums from the open recent menu and boom great um, I need to remember to make this dockable to remember if I docked it or not. So, uh, the second uh, change, improvement I'd say, is those two buttons here. I removed the play album button and I added those two. So, the first one is the play button and the second one is the rewind button. So, let's go to the album mode. Yeah, I, the score mode pretty much works, it's mostly complete. I have I don't have much more to show you, I believe, so we, I will mainly show you the album mode for a pretty significant period of time. So, in the album mode, the first thing that you will notice is that I automatically add section breaks at the end of its movement or score or whatever, and I use those for pausing, so you can double click that, go here, change the time, and it will work. The second thing is that I can now reorder scores in album mode. Uh, oh yeah, it worked, okay. Uh, oh, why does it... Oh, right, yeah, here we go. Oh, sometimes it does it automatically, sometimes I need to move my screen. I will... It's a small problem, I will fix that. Um, so let's play the album. There is still that cursor glitch where you can see its previous positions. And as you can see, I have fixed the cursor, it now follows the correct score. The cursor glitch should be fixable by just refreshing the screen. I probably deleted something that I shouldn't have deleted. Well, I didn't actually delete anything, so I probably did something twice and that's the problem. So, after that, what else? Uh, you can also add scores while in this mode now, and they should display correctly, but we won't do it just now, because... Uh, right now, because it might crash. That's the only problem, I believe. I fixed most of the bugs that cause crashes, so that's good. And you can play, press, press play, and continue, and go back to the beginning. Great. Now, um, oh yeah, you can also use the toolbar to add accidentals. And let's see, these do not work 100%. So I press that, nothing, and I move it and it's here. But if I try to remove it, it doesn't remove it, which is a problem, as you might expect. The other good thing is I need to go to the piano score and remove it from here. The other good thing is that now we can add notes and comp basically compose right here. So let's do this. I need to learn the shortcuts for MuseCore. And that. Go back to the beginning, play. And as you can see, it has changed in this score. It also changes right here, it, it tells you to save. Um, why? I also fixed the name of this album, of the tab, which was automatically deleted every time that you did anything. Um, well, let's see, what else do I've got? Uh, oh yes, I also tried printing and surprisingly it works. So if I go here, I'm right here and I say, Go to MuseScore for development, scores, let's call this Hello YouTube, okay, and print that, and then go here, and here, and here, and here, Hello YouTube, and it's right here, that's pretty great. Um, let me see if there's anything else. Um, Hmm. Oh, also last week I was invited by Mark Sabatella, the director of education from MuseScore, 
and I was his guest in his weekly Musical Cafe series. Uh, if you want more video or, and stories and information about the album feature, you can go there. Uh, let's see, play the cursor, improve controls. Uh, we can add the score in the uh, play album mode. That's, that's what we are going to try. Um, let's see if there is anything other than that. Um, yes, I fixed the virus crisis. Okay, so let's add the score and see how that goes. Add score. Uh, piano 4. Wow. And it's not here, but what if I, oh, it, it appeared and disappeared. As you can see, it's a work in progress, but as you can also see, it kind of works. That's it for today, I believe. Goodbye.